for women, they need to be more in the mood to want to have sexual touch. And men are almost always in the mood for sexual <laughs> touch. For example, like one day, uh, it must have been like four or five women on that day. I don't know why that day it came up, but it was a woman said, you know, the only time my husband touches me is he wants sex. And literally inside of my brain, I'm thinking, what's wrong with that? You know, I don't say that. I say, tell me more. Okay. <laughs> That's a therapy thing. But, uh, and then that night I went up and I was giving my wife a hug in the, in the kitchen. I just came up to give her a cut, hug because all these women were talking about hugs. So I thought I'll, I'll go give her a hug. And then she stopped. She kind of froze. And she says, you know, John, the only time you want to, only time you touch me is when you want sex. So it was a very funny thing. So I had to look into, okay, what's the problem here? You know? Now, this is now 30 years later, I was able to find all the biological reasons for this. And it's kind of very timely because this book Beyond Mars and Venus, because see, we're, we're no longer in the traditional roles, but men are still men and women are still women. And we kind of go, was well, this just made up? You know, in the universities, they say this is just social engineering that made us this way. And actually it's called biology that made us this way. And social engineering can help us maintain a healthy biology. So when the uh, Supreme Court nominee was asked, how do you define a woman? This is really great. She says, you have to talk to a biologist. Well, here's a book by Beyond Mars and Venus, <laughs> where I talk about the biological differences of men and women. And ironically, they are all there to explain on a biological level, the, the simple examples that I give in Men Are From Mars that at that time, so many people related to, I mean, huge, 50,000, 80,000 people a week for almost seven years were <laughs> buying that book. You know, that's a lot of people uh, who were in relationships relating to it. Kind of like when you heard me, you're relating to it and you can easily apply it because it's just insights that you're not really aware of if you don't understand how men and women are different. But even then, a small percent of women, and now a lot of women will say when they read Men Are From Mars, they'll say, you know, I feel like I'm from Mars and my husband's from Venus. And that is due to a biological uh, change which is happening because when women are more independent and they're making money they're making more male hormones and they tend to make less female hormones and whenever her male hormones are dominant over her female hormones she will have higher stress levels and that's measurable and for men whenever a man is stressed he's going to have lower male hormones and higher female hormones so the thrust of my work now is for many people when you're no longer doing more traditional roles for man's provider, woman's homemaker, and so forth, uh, now you've got women making more testosterone than they traditionally did and less estrogen, new challenges. And so the second book here is all about helping men understand their wives when they're stressed and help. How can I help bring her back to her female side? How can I produce more female hormones in her? And vice versa, what women can do is to communicate new ways to a man which bump up his testosterone.